Hi, on today's video I will be making a cutting board out of these cherry and walnut boards. We've been needing a bigger board for ourselves and I thought that this would be a great project to try out some new machines that I bought for the workshop. I bought this table saw and then a combi planer which has the jointer and a planer in one machine from Holzmann machine and so these are from Austria. I thought getting a complainer would be a great way to save some money and space as well from the workshop. To begin with the project, I started by planing down the face of the board and then making a straight edge to the one of the sides. In addition of getting the table saw and the jointer, I also got a dust collector unit. I think you could run the machines without one, but that would create a lot of dust and it would clog up the machines, which would probably end up damaging them at the end. And one of the key questions that I had in my mind when choosing whether to buy this combi planer or getting just two machines separately was how much of a hassle it would be when switching from one mode to the other. And here you have a clip of me of doing it for one of the first times and as you can see it is rather easy. I have sped up the speed to 8 times from normal but as you can see it only takes a couple of minutes from switching to jointer to planer which is really nice. Once I had all the boards planed down, it was time to start cutting them to pieces for the glue up. I was aiming to make the cutting board around 35mm thick, so I ended up ripping the board around that thickness. And after having cutting all the pieces for the first board, I went and planed them all down just to make sure that they were even on thickness. Once that was done, I started ripping the pieces into different widths so I could create some patterns of the cutting board. Now that I had all the pieces cut down, it was time to start creating the pattern for the cutting board. For this first board I went with cherry and added some walnut stripes to it. Once I was happy with the pattern, I took out the tape measure and measured how wide the board was. I wanted it to be around 30cm so then I could have it around 50cm for the length. And then it was just a matter of doing the glue up. I must say that it would have been probably way easier if I had some proper tables or working surfaces on the workshop, which I don't have yet. But that will most definitely be one of the next projects in the workshop, creating some sort of assembly outfit table for the table saw and then a workbench as well. But then back to the glue up. I chose to use Titan 3 because that is widely recommended on cutting boards since it is water resistant and it is food safe as well. And also, if you've gotten this far on the video, remember to leave it a like and to subscribe on the channel to see more of these videos. And as I said before, the glue up wasn't the easiest part of the project. I think it was a combination of working on uneven platforms and then with normal clamps. I think it would have been a bit easier to work on the uneven platforms if I had some panel clamps. Once I had the board all clamped up, I just left it overnight to dry. And on the next morning, I got back to the workshop and took the board out of the clamps. And as you can see here, I have some cleaning up to do since the surface isn't all even. 
And as the body is around 30 centimeters wide, I couldn't put it in the planer since the planer has capacity of 25 centimeters. So then it was a matter of planing it by hand, but gladly there wasn't too much planing to be done. And after I had planed the board to be mostly even, I just gave it a rough sanding to ease up any remaining bits that weren't even. Once the first round of sanding was done, then it was just a matter of cutting the board to its final dimensions. And like I said earlier, this board ended up being around 30 times 50 centimeters. And here you have one of the new tools from the workshop as well, so I got this palm router for myself and I used it to round over the edges of the board. And let me know in the comments what are some new tools that you've got into your workshop or you would want to get. And after doing the first board I actually realized that it would be quite smart to attach the dust collector adapter to the palm router so then there wouldn't be this much dust around. For this first board, I upped the two screw as well. I did it with an edge guide on the router. It didn't come perfect, but it's good enough for me now. But I would definitely recommend doing a chick for it. Unfortunately, I didn't have any plywood around the workshop, so I couldn't do one. And after rounding the edges and doing the two screw, it was time to do some more sanding. I ended up sanding this all the way up to 240. And after raising the crane with some water and then giving it a light sand, I also hand sanded the edges and then the two screws as well. And now that the sanding was done, it was time to finish up the board. And I know that in the States it's quite common to use mineral oil to finish these cutting boards, but I actually ended up doing my own finish, so I mixed some linenseed oil to beeswax. The ration was four parts of oil to one part of beeswax, then boiled it up and then let it sit for a moment. And then you get this nice paste from it. Uh, I just wrapped it all over the board and then wiped off any excess from it and then let it sit overnight. But here you have it, the first board that I made. I think it is quite nice and it was a nice project to test out the new machines as well. The two screws didn't come out to be perfect but that's okay. Overall the board is really nice, I like the colors and the size is good. And in addition of making the bigger board, I also ended up making these six smaller boards from the same lumber. Three with walnut, with cherry stripes and three the other way around. And I must say that I really like the walnut boards with the cherry stripes on them. I think these are pretty easy projects to make as a gift or just as a product to sell as well. But that's all for this time. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.